dreamed of setting up a training school as a stable for recruiting officers from East Pakistan for Pakistan's armed forces. Lieutenant Colonel William Morris Brown became its first principal, handpicked by Ayub Khan himself. The college's journey into the future and history began with the motto, Deeds, Not Words. The first batch of the college started classes on 28 April 1958. A rigorous process of selection is followed to choose the best students of the country for admissions to this college. 50 cadets are selected each year for class 7 to spend 6 years of strict regimen and routine up to class 12. The college's objective is to turn these young boys into men of the world with character and integrity. This is achieved through pursuit of both intellectual and physical routines day in and day out. During the academic year, all 300 cadets, they are inspired with the college motto, Deeds Not Words, very much in their heart. We have meticulously prepared daily schedule for the cadets to ensure the good mental and physical health. We have facilities available for games, sports and physical training. Managed and administered by the Bangladesh Army through the Cadet College Governing Body, the principal, adjutant, medical officer and real staff are appointed from the Bangladesh Armed Forces. National curriculum is followed for academics in English medium. Physical education of drills, parades, athletics and games and sports complete the whole process. After passing six years of my cadet life, I have decided to join Bangladesh Army and it is my future plan. Supported by the teaching staff and a host of ancillary the goal of this school is to inspire the cadets to be achievers in all walks of life. A host of the students aspire for joining the Bangladesh Armed Forces. Sprawling over 184 acres for physical education, Fozdarhat Cadet College has a host of football, rugby and hockey fields. In addition, there are cricket ground and basketball, volleyball, tennis and squash courts. These are complemented by a boxing arena an obstacle course, a canoeing come rowing lake, a swimming pool, shooting range and a gymnasium. Intellectual pursuits of regular studies and evening preps are facilitated by a rich library. Physics, chemistry and biology laboratories, a wood and metal workshop and an auditorium for debates, drama, speech and cultural performances. The houses have their own wallpapers, current affairs audio-video displays and gardening competitions. Dormitory facilities are distributed into four houses. Ravindra House, formerly Babur House, Nozrul House, formerly Shah Jahan House, Fuzdul Haq House, formerly Ayub House and Shohidullah House, formerly Akbar House. Each of these houses accommodates 75 cadets at maximum. All the houses have individual indoor games facility and one reading and recreation room. The college's state-of-the-art industrial kitchen and a modern bakery serve all the cadets' balanced diet for breakfast and meals in a spacious dining hall. The dining hall is aesthetically decorated and resplendent in souvenirs and collector's items. The college also has a hospital with indoor, 
outdoor and emergency facilities. Forster Heart Care at College in its 56 years has been able to create leaders in all walks of life who have served both Bangladesh and the international community with great success. I joined the CAT College to have a prosperous and better life. This is the main thing which inspired me to join the CAT College. I tried my level best to keep the good atmosphere in the academic arena. In the CAT College we do a lot of extracurricular activities. This gives us a huge outlook of the knowledge and become a perfect human being. Recently we have taken a step to reintroduce the affiliation program with the British Public School, that is Duke of York's uh, Royal Military School. The cadets are known as the Folgians, and uh, we also maintain an association where the old Folgians are even taken care after the graduation. And Folgians are really proud to be a real Folgian. <laughs> Six years of a serenading lifestyle in a serene environment is capped with a canvas of experiences in discipline, hardship, sadness and happiness of joys in celebrating a life that is rich in legacy and tradition. Each day of these six long years begins with the resolve and commitment to complete the journey's end to be a man of the world. The atmosphere and environment of the college inspires cadets to create an individual saga of achievements. Days of rigorous discipline and routine duties come to a close with lights out. Hardships are forgotten in the dark of the night as dreams take over the college students to make the most of this excellent school. An epic journey of life into the cold, hard world after leaving the alma mater brings back only fond memories and cherished dreams achieved at this unique institution. Fozians coming out of this school are motivated to forge ahead to a glorious end in their lives. For the boys of this great school, it is always Foz their heart forever. Shall ever be Oh, I'm a 